everybody, it is Chloe Demer of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTubes. Today is a spooky edition of a spooky collection. So if you wanna see what that collection is, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Hey everybody, so a little bit of story time. So. Um, you can tell by the description in the video that uh, there's a bit of a story here. So let's go back to Friday the 13th. So we're going to go back in time a little bit. So what happened was on Friday the 13th was when the Friday the 13th collection was being released from Glamlight. I was very excited. That was the one I decided to get. I even got myself a beautiful wreath <laughs> to go with. I had grand plans of the collection. There's a candle that comes with it. I was going to maybe do some spooky lights and the candle going. I was all prepared, all excited. So Friday the 13th happened. My friend was like, I, you can send it to my US post box, right? So that way, if there was no international free shipping, but just for America, we could get free shipping, you know, the huge. So the 13th came, the time came, I think it was like 8 a.m., ready to go. The, the collection was up. I stuck it to the cart and it was like, you're not in the U.S.? No, pulls it out of the cart. I had the strawberry shortcake already in there. That was the only thing that was in there. So I backed my way out. Let's try this again. Nope, can't do it. So I did it like two or three times, nothing. It was like, I'm, go I'm trying to change the address. And then I guess online they were saying that they had a trouble with international. So I was like, okay, we're gonna try again. So I backed totally out, reopened up Glamlight, went in there and I just got so excited I saw a collection I thought okay let's do this again post you know thing still had my strawberry shortcake in the park and finally it was like yes you can pick another address so I picked my US address I was so excited I hit you know like you know the, the, the let's pay for this thing did the whole thing and even got my confirmation the order saw the confirmation, saw collection, saw strawberry shortcake, I, and then the tracking, you know, what a week later or so, when it, when it finally, the package finally shipped, or a week and a teeny bit, can't remember now, but let's say at least seven days. So then it was like, wow, it's shipping already. People were saying that they didn't get their ghost face. And I looked at it, it tells me my order, still nothing tweaked in my brain. Again, collection, whatever. So then my friend calls me. She's like, your package is ready to pick up. We went to the border today. And I'm like, all right, I'll meet you. And then she's like, so here's your package. And I'm like, oh, did you grab the strawberry shortcake out of it? Because it was for her. And then she's like, oh no, I didn't open the box. But she says, it's really funny because it comes in a ghost face box. And I'm like, that's weird. Maybe they didn't have any boxes for the Friday the 13th. Maybe they ran out. My brain is still not tweaking. And then we open the box. And I've taken stuffing and everything out now. And I took out her strawberry shortcake. But it's the Ghost Face collection. And I'm like, did they send me the wrong collection? Oh no, I wanted Friday the 13th. So I go into my phone, go open it up, and I look. And sure enough, it said Ghost Face. It said Ghost Face in the shipping notice. Ghost Face on my confirmation of payment. This chick just did not register. Her brain just went Pfft. And, and then I, and then I was thinking, well, you know, if I would have noticed it before, then I could have maybe reached out and said, oh, oh, I did, I did a screw up. Can you change this for the Friday the 13th? I'll pay any difference if there was any, but I never even noticed. So then people were like, well, we'll see if you can exchange it. And I was like, you know, I'm looking at this. This is really, really nice. And then I started comparing to online this, what, what was in this box to what was in the Friday the 13th collection. And I was like, there's actually more usable stuff in here. Yes, I didn't get any brushes, which was really sad. But the more I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I love this collection. Let's keep this collection. We are good. So anyways, here we go. So it came in this great box. They actually shipped it in this box. I didn't get the PR because again, I thought I was clicking the Friday 13th. And I did the first several times when I put it in there. It did go in as Friday the 13th, but I think it was the last time when things seemed to, you know, I, I just took the first collection I saw. And because I was just, at that point, I was so frazzled. I was freaking out. My cat was even, you know, meowing around me going, what the heck is going on, right? So it's totally my fault. But I think, like I said, as I did the comparisons, I think I'm more, more happy that I got this one. So it worked out in the end for me. So there is that there. And then I took all the labels 
labels off. You can still see the sticky stuff on top there. But, you know, there we go. So even though I didn't get the, um, you know, the, the, the mask-shaped promo box, I did get this one. So this is a good place to store it and will look good on my shelf. So there we go. There is story time. There's me being the world's biggest idiot. <laughs> And I messaged my friend, I guess, guess who did this? La, 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 la. And they were like, why were you an idiot? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> and again, it's whatever. So, I mean, I guess I suppose I could have still got another candle and still did a spooky vibe, but I got my background up. I've got that going on here. Unfortunately, there is no ghost face in here. We got ourselves a Chucky. We got ourselves the Pinhead. We've got ourselves the uh, Michael Myers and we've got Jason. Oh, and then we've got Freddy over here, which is the next release. And those two palettes look amazing. So, I'm really contemplating those two palettes. And I thought, well, maybe if I get those two palettes and the blush trio looks amazing, if I do that, maybe I could stick in the other palette. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to restart my no buy, but you know, FOMO is real, but let's play with this collection. Let's see what's in the box. So like I said, um, I was doing comparisons. So in the Freddy one, or the Freddy one, the Jason one difference is it had a candle lashes and brushes in it and I think I think it even had a makeup bag which this one doesn't they did have a bag but it was separate um but even though I love candles and I was a little excited about it I don't really need candles lashes I've already got a whack that I don't wear the brushes I would have really liked but there were a couple face ones in there I think as well and I've gotten a million face ones so I thought and then here and then it also had a blush did it have a blush? I think it had a blush and I'm not sure if it had a blush. I don't think it had a blush, but it did have a highlighter, but it was a single highlighter. This has a double highlighter, as we'll see. This one has a blush. I think the mirror is a little bit cooler. And there's one other product, which I would have maybe would have preferred to have the makeup bag or brushes for, but we'll get to it when we'll get to it. So first off, let's do the palette. So this is the ghost face palette. It looks like it's in a little um, cassette thing here. I had just opened it just to make sure it was when I was taking it out of the paper to make sure that everything was okay. It has the lectacular <laughs> cover, the word I have so much trouble with. But anyways, the ghost face lives. I've been rewatching all the movies. I'm on number three. And of course it, has, it says ghost face on the mirror. And then here is this beautiful color story. And it was funny because I was thinking that the, you know, because the Chucky, I had played with that one and then I thought I wasn't sure about this color story and then I saw the Friday the 13th one and I'm like oh I think I like that one better but then when I did open this when I got it I, I kind of gasped a little bit it does look better in person than I think it did online it looked good online but like I said when the Ghostface collection came out I was kind of waffling because I think I was a little bit I thought at first a little bit more excited for the Friday the 13th, so I didn't get this one, and then I saw the other one and bought, thought I bought that. But here we go, here is that beautiful color story. So I'm really excited to play with this. And as you can see, I have a bare face, so we will definitely do a look with this palette. So it comes with a palette. Let's go to the ex one of the exciting things in here is the mirror. This mirror is so cute. So let me see if I can open this again, or should I open it from the bottom? Nope, they both open the same way. They have one of those little protective lips. There we go. So I had opened it from the bottom last time, I think. And then of course it comes in a little tray, which will keep it even more protected. And here is the mirror. And then I'm just gonna hold it like this. It has the little drips there but this is a very fun mirror. It has some nice weight to it. Um, the hockey mask mirror was pretty cool. I just saw the one for Freddy. I don't think I like that mirror, so I definitely wouldn't get that whole collection, but I think this mirror is probably the best mirror out of the three, even though the, the hockey mask one is kind of cool. So we're just gonna pop that back in for now. So then we got ourselves the mirror. And I'm just gonna put that on the floor. I have very little space here and I got this big box. Um, so the one item that I thought if I could have had that in a makeup bag or brushes instead, though I would still get used for it and I still like it. Um, it is the Ghost Face 
Black Cherry Lip Duo. This is a lip scrub and a lip mask. I'm actually finishing my Kaleidos lip mask. I was gonna go into one I have from P. Louise, but I think since I wanna try that scrub, we will test this out before we do our makeup. So I think this would have been the only one I would have would have wanted to change out for something else, but I would prefer this versus, I guess, a candle when all is said and done. Um, next up in here, oh, let's just grab this. We have ourselves a eyeliner. So this, there was no eyeliner in the other collection. So this is, um, I guess one of the things that would be different. So instead of say lashes, so instead of brushes, we got a lip, lip kit and instead of, um, yeah, so instead of a candle, we got a lip, uh, we got that lip duo. Instead of eyelashes, we got liner. And then I guess, um, what was the other thing? Yeah, and then, yeah, and then instead of a bag, we got um, a blush. So this is very cute here. It's got the little blood splatter here. It is a black eyeliner. I did look at that. So there we go. So again, let's just for now put that in, but I won't close it, so I don't have to futz with it later. Um, and then we've got here, this is the Ghost Face Horror Blush. Also comes in the Ghost Face packaging on the outside. So this is quite the um, cohesive um, look from top to bottom. One of these days I'll remember to actually leave a knife in my drawer here so I don't break the boxes all the time. So here we go. And then again, too, this has that um, cool molecular <laughs> cover. And here is, I'll take the little, the little protective on there, has a mirror again. And this shade is beautiful. And then it just has the little um, ghost face imprint in there that you can see right there. So then we've got the blush. I will again also not close the box again. And then there was, oh, don't let the box fall over. Then there is the highlighter duo. This is absolutely stunning. I did cheat and take a look at, I looked at everything, I looked at everything. Who am I kidding? So here we go. And I was gonna say, I love, I, I hear that their highlighters are really good. I did try one, but I can't remember. I think I liked it from the Scooby-Doo collection, I wanna say, or maybe it was a Chucky, I can't remember. But uh, here we go, again, has that fun packaging. And then when you see these, like this is definitely the, the I mean, the other one would be, I guess, would be almost the size for one, but here you get two highlighters. And then you get one with the ghost face imprint and then the other one with his, his their knives, because uh, they're all different killers in the ghost face uh, genre, movies, et cetera, et cetera. So can't wait to play with that. And then last up in here, we've got two lip kits. And, and to be different, they're not both liquid lips and they're not both regular bullet lipsticks. We got ourselves one of each. So we've got this one here from Glamline and they both come with a lip liner and a lipstick. They slide open like so. This one comes with a black lip pencil like so. But the shade is, and I guess it's just so you can do more of an definitely more of an ombre and then this one is in a bullet and check it out it's the button one and then you open like this and it is a very very neutral shade but i think with that with that liner it'll look great and then it has the little knives imprinted this is really nice with the bullet lipsticks i noticed that with the the freddy one has spiders on it it looks really really cool so let's pop that in like so so like that, so that is the neutral set there for neutral loving folks. And then the second one, um, of course, is the Ghost Blood Lip Kit. This has a two different shades of red in here. You've got the liquid lip, and then we have the red pencil. Pencil also has the lid on top that is showing that it's red. And then it's a very, here, let me just already swatch it because you can't see it's a very, very dark red. It looks almost like black or dark brown when you look at it, but it is a, I would say like a Merlot, like so. And then here is the liquid lip. You've got to the drips on the top here. 
got the beautiful ghost face, little swirls on here. And then of course, this is a liquid lip. Hmm, it doesn't have any smell, which is good too. I don't mind. I think I prefer a really nice smell or no smell. So there we go. So that is our ghost face collection. So again, we have two lip kits. We have a dual highlighter. We have a blush. We have a lip scrub and lip mask. We have the palette. We have the eyeliner and we have the mirror. <laughs> so now we are about ready to create a look. So on to the look. That was pathetic. On to the look. Okay, so now we are ready to do our eyes, but also wanted to play with the little lip um, care kit that came. So I didn't open the box originally in the opening there, but here we are. The silver top is the mask. The black top is the um, mask itself. So, and then also silver lid. Yeah, on top and then the whole lid like so. And it's just very, very cute nice little packaging like so. So I thought we could um, put the scrub on, a little bit of the lip mask while, um, and it can settle in while we are doing our eyes and face. So it has this little protective lid. There's the scrub. Oh, that smells delicious. Yes, definitely black cherry. So let's, this didn't come with a little scoop. So um, you know what, I'm just gonna use the back of my, I have a little scoops uh, in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna take a little bit like so. I'm gonna put it on my hand and then onto my lips. Hopefully I didn't take too much, but it smells absolutely delicious. All right, so let's go and put that on. So of course it is a sugar strip, scrub. Sure. Yeah. edible if you get it in your mouth. I mean, I wouldn't eat it, eat it, but there we go. Mm -hmm. And then like so. Mm -hmm. Yep, delicious. <laughs> so there we go. They do feel a little bit smoother. I have some pretty dry lips. I'll probably have to do it a couple times to get um, full effect, but and then let's do the lip mask again. Same thing, this nice protective seal. Oh, now my hands are a little bit slippery. Oh goodness, challenged. Okay, there we go. And then like so. You can smell a little bit, not as much as the lip mask. The mask you can really like, wow, well, you can smell the black cherry, but let's uh, dig in a little bit. It's nice. Now this one doesn't seem to have a ta taste or if it does, it's so minor, I, I'm not registering it, but that is okay. You don't want to eat your lip mask either. So uh, there we go. So we've got those two on. Let's uh, put that to the side so we don't knock it over. And then let's play with some eyeshadow. I'm going to use my, um, though it doesn't look like it. I am using my P. Louise base here. Um, and then for brushes today, I broke out some of my new Artitude brushes because we do have blush and highlighter to play with. So I thought we could use a couple of these. And then these ones I had got in a mystery box from Beauty Moon. So I thought we could use those, you know, to kind of fit the theme. And then I have some other brushes to use as well. Okay, so here is our palette again. So I can't wait to do that. I have not picked out a color story. I am going to a haunted house, haunted outdoor thing out in a, a little uh, city or township called Chilliwack. So I saw a friend um, posted some the other oh, other week and it looked so good we decided to, my friend and I decided we wanted to go so we are going tonight um it's open until of course Halloween so I thought 
Sunday night would be good because she um, is off, doesn't have to work tonight, and it's not late. Um, we've got tickets for 7 o'clock, so I think we've got the opening slot. And then you have an hour to go and they have actors and stuff that are there to scare you. So I'm going to assume they're going to have like Michael Myers and Jasons and Pinheads and possible Chuckies and Freddies and whoever else. Faux devils, you know, that kind of stuff. So hopefully it's scary, but not too scary. There we go. So we have got on a little bit of our eye primer. Now, let's see here. I'm already making this beautiful mirror dirty. Okay, so here is our color story here, or it's going to be here in a second. <laughs> All right, so there is the story there. Um, let's go like that so we don't, or maybe like that. There we go. So there is our story. You know, I always like to test out blacks. I really do like, want something to do with this, this, and that maybe. Kind of keep it, because it's pretty dark. Maybe I'm going to start with this one, and then if I need to darken, darken, we'll go into this. And then the imprint in here says ghost face lives. And then, of course, this is one letter short. So, of course, we have a picture of a ghost face in there. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, they do have names. And so the dark teal shade is called Curfew Hour. So that's the one we're going to start with first. So we're going to start with Curfew Hour. Maybe I should leave this out. Alrighty. So let's take a, yeah, so let's take a, br a brush that has um, a flat edge for now. So that way we can build a shape. I think I do want to go and do something winged. So of course I'm going to have to, um, wreck ghost face here, but it is what it is. First I was thinking doing a rounded look so that way I can use the liner, but I can still use, because it's a black liner, I can still use the liner on the edge. So I'm going to do it all the way like so. I'm kind of liking this. So. This is my first glam light purchase of my own. I've borrowed, I've borrowed the Scooby-Doo collection. I have borrowed the Chucky collection. I think I used one other one, but right now my brain is escaping me. But um, there we go. This is a really nice teal color. See when I, I when I did that, or oh, I originally wasn't didn't think I was going to have access to the Chucky, so I did a build a palette using my collection, and the melt one of the melt Beetlejuice ones <laughs> covered a good chunk of the collection, and then when I um, got to borrow, borrow it, it definitely oh hold on Is that my phone no oh, I'm waiting for a package. Um, where am I going here? When I borrowed the Chucky one, I definitely, I my, the one I built was very close. So even though I still want it, I didn't feel the need that I had to buy that color story. And, but this one and the, well, all the, the ones now are, they're very um, that complimentary, but they definitely um, are all very different. And then first I didn't think this one and the, Friday the 13th seemed so different, but now that I keep, I've seen this in person, they are quite the different, I think they're quite the different color stories. Again, complimentary, but still very much um, different color stories and all very dark, which I like. The new one, the Freddy one, there it comes in, it's kind of like the Scooby-Doo where they did two smaller palettes. Technically, did I do I need that reddish black one? Kind of no, but since I don't have the Chucky one, that would be kind of good. But the one with the greens and kind of like earth tone, dark browns or whatever, it looked really, really good. So I'm kind of, kind of tempted. I said Halloween is doing me in. I think the rest of the year I did pretty, pretty good. Um, except for falling for the um, Cosmic Brushes restock and then um, Halloween. 
But other than that, I was doing pretty good. So I think hopefully I'll be able to do good next year with just having, I'm doing it as a low buy because I'm doing a monthly um, subscription box to try and help. Ooh, I like that wing. Ooh, and I like this color. I like it a lot. It's going on pretty, pretty good without needing, um, like it's going on intense. That's the words I'm looking for. Um, there we go. I organized, I was organized. I was a very good girl yesterday. I was organizing my place. There was stuff that I was going to save to do during my Christmas vacation. I think my head was kind of like, but then do you want to spend your whole Christmas vacation doing house things and organizing things? So I actually got a lot of stuff organized that I didn't think that I would get done in one day. And, but I needed a shoe stand. So I ordered that. So that's the package that I'm waiting for. Not that you needed to know, but as we're chatting here, alrighty. So there we go. I, whoops. Sorry there, fellas. I really do like this color. It's really good. I can actually, you know, still again, we can um, make it um, bigger, but I'm thinking I might want another color over the top. So I just did it just smidgy, smidgy over the mobile lid, but we can still play with another color then. Ooh. I finally remember to bring my color switch. I have this little foam, uh, a couple of different foam sheets that I have under my um, keyboard. So that way I can, um, I go in here, use that because it's almost like the same thing, but I just washed it. So, alrighty. So we said we wanted to do that. And then we were thinking of doing this lighter shade and then this as the shimmer. I don't know. Did I want to fill in with that? Sh you know what? Let's try filling in with that shade. And then if I want to, I can still darken the edge. So this shade that we're looking at here is called... Uh, yes, it's called Ghost. Yeah, is that the one I wanted to use? Hold on. Making sure I'm getting the right one here. Yes. Um, a ghostly Gray. Yeah, because I think I had this upside down when we were first looking at it. Yes, because it's this one that I wanted to play with. So Ghostly Gray. So let's grab that one. Or if I want, I can also, if I want to darken the one that's called Halloween Icon, that one there, I think that one might be near, nice near the edge. So I think let's start with that one though too. So again, that is ghostly gray. So let's start with that. I'm going to grab a one of the only fluffy brushes that came in this little eye set. Um, I really love little little eye brushes, but in all these sets I've been getting in mystery boxes, they always have a lot of face brushes, which I have so many face brushes, but there's only so many face brushes that you can use, like little brushes, you're always using tons of different ones. Oh, the shimmer looks really good too. Okay, this palette is just gorgeous. So I'm having a squirrel moment. Okay, so we are going again into Ghostly Gray. If I had enough time, like I guess if I would have been on it yesterday, Oh no, actually the time I brought, I picked this up and came home because we decided to go for dinner too. It was, yeah, after seven o'clock. I don't think, I don't think I really felt like doing makeup on at seven o'clock at night. I didn't have any makeup on during the day because I was playing all day, but we were kind of not sure if we were going to do dinner. So I thought, well, if we didn't do dinner, then I can come home and do a makeup look. But we ended up, um, some call it doing dinner which was really good we tried a which i've not had a lot of before i've been to one different one before but this one was even had different things on it for northern indian food oh my gosh so good so good so anyways it was a restaurant that martha my friend martha recommended and it was lovely 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 if i remember i have a little video of her yard which is set up for halloween if i remember i'm gonna pop it pop it in so cute all right, so there's our ghostly get gray um, within the teal. I think I do want to do that other color on the outer edges. As you can see, I wasn't totally filling that in. So I think that's what I want to do. So that way we can get another color before playing with shimmery shades. And again, because of the lighting to me, it's looking like it's super, um, super patchy, but it's not. It's just definitely the lighting so if you think it looks patchy it is not because looking in the mirror it looks great so there we go all right so then i'm just going to clean this one off i'm going to use the same brush i think and then for the outside edge we're going to use the shade that is called yes it was halloween icon so that seems like another greenish gray so i think we're going to do that on the outside there we go i mean the shimmer is going to cover a little bit up but 
not, a slightly darker edge would be nice. And then again, we get another color. And then I think we can maybe use one of the lighter shades over the top to kind of blend a little bit. Because since I only have time to do one, one look for this right now, I mean, I'll play with it some more. Um, if I do break down and get a couple of the other palettes, we can maybe also do a comparison or a look video comparing to see what the differences are. But no, I wouldn't get another full, I don't, well, I can't afford it. Another full collection. I think out of collections, looking at the Freddy one now, there is more in that collection that I don't want or I don't need. I should go with that um, compared to the Friday the 13th, but I think I like the brush trio or blush trio and I like the palettes. The brushes are fun because they have faux blood in them, you know, like you know, red colored liquid. But I think it's again a mix of face and eye. So I think I can give that a miss. And like I said, I didn't like the mirror as much as I liked the other ones, but we'll see, we'll see. It releases on October 31st. Okay, I like that. Okay, so there we go. Um, what else do I have? Anything else I want to try? Actually, I'm gonna go a little bit into the shade called Pure Ghost Face. And I'm gonna see if I can mix it between the two and see if that gives a, um, like a purpley gray so I don't know how much it's going to match but let's try anyways just to see if I can do get a little bit more of a so it doesn't look so I mean I know I'm gonna put some shimmer on top but just not so abrupt from dark to light so if you could do like a darker to a medium to okay and now I'm going to go and re go over all of these shades again. So again, that is using, what was it, yes. Uh, yeah, Curfew Hour, um, Halloween Icon, Purely Ghost Face, and the Ghostly Gray. So we're gonna use those all again. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take, I think I wanna do, cause I wanna blend a little bit on the top. Let's go into the shade that is called Movie Night. So this is the lightest, yes, probably the lightest shade, brightest shade in the palette of mattes. Uh, so we're gonna grab a little bit of that. Of course I put it right on top of the mirror. Okay, and then just, there we go. It gives kind of like a little bit, almost like a glow, and then it just softens the edges. I am going to take a sponge before I do um, my base and just lightly go around the edge there. So it doesn't matter if this is a little bit thicker on top there. I will fix it out. I just wanted to kind of blend the edge there. So that is a really pretty color. I like that a lot. So before we do shimmers, let's go into the bottom of our eye. And let's go into, did I want to go into, no, I don't think I want to go into the black. I think we're going to stay away for once from testing out the blacks. So we're going to go back again into curfew hour and we're going to put that along the bottom edge there. Yes. It's funny how um, I used to not do the bottom lash line with shadow and now I feel the eye look looks not complete and kind of naked if I don't. But these brands need to start making some close up mirrors, man. That would make me happy. Oh gosh, no idea. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into that one shade that, that the last one we did for blending out on top it was again called Movie Night. And I'm gonna do that a little bit on the bottom as well. Okay, so like I said, with the, the sponge, I will clean any little bit extra if I feel like it's a little bit too much once I, before I'm putting on my base. All right, so let's play with some shimmers then. 
Um, let's see, what shimmer are we going to use? I think we were talking, oh, because we've got, let's just do this again here. So I really liked that one there. That is really pretty too. But let's start with this one. And then this is the one that is called Mirror Gleam. Here, let's just put some on our finger first because this looks like it has some different reflex in here. Um, you're not seeing it here. Oh, hold on, maybe a little bit. So if you go, depending on how I turned the pan, I don't know if you can see it here. Nope, it's funny when I have it down. Oh, maybe here a little bit. It goes like a silvery purple. But it is a very nice, pretty green. But then there's also this one here that is called Midnight Babe? Robe, Midnight Robe. So, <laughs> robe, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, there's that one there. Oh, that one is more, look, ends up looking more silver. And then we do have this fun purpley one as well. And this is called Sharpest Knife. So let's do that, maybe I might do this one on the in the inner corner maybe and there is sharpest knife there you can see it goes from like silver to kind of purple and that one does yeah that one does have green in there actually let's use this one on the lid and then this one in the inner corner yes all right so we are going to start with midnight robe and then that's the one that is going to go on the main part of the lid let's grab a flat brush and i'm going to try without because i forgot to bring spray always forget something um but if i think i remember right these go on really nicely without so there we go see it goes on nice and thick onto a brush yes this one doesn't need any any kind of spray, that looks really good. And then the other eye will do the phalange test. Might do a darker shimmer on the outside there. All right, yeah, see, that looks good. So now we're gonna quickly do a phalange test. So, so. Yeah, see, that goes on super nice. Oh, I like these colors. I am a sucker for a teal. Mmm, nice. Nice, nice. Alrighty, so did I want to stick one on the outer edge? I think I do because I kind of like this one called Masked Mystery, which is that one there. So let's just take a look. Ooh. That's Masked Mystery. And then this other one. Oh, this one's kind of nice too. Ghost Face Lives. That's, oh, that's another really dark one. Whoops, that one didn't swatch very well. Oh, let's give it another go. I think I just might not have grabbed enough. Yeah, there we go. That's better. That's just a that's just a me thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. I think we're gonna do a little bit of that on the outer edge there. So that is again ghost face lives. So let's use a little bit of that on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go back into that light shade again that was Mystery Robe. And I'm going to just do a little bit where we joined there again. Okay, so now last but not least on the eyeshadow, we are going to do the inner corner. And that was the one that we decided we were going to do a mirror gleam, which was that beautiful, really light green. I think I'm going to have to grab a brush from my other little pile here. Yes, this is clean. Oh, see here it looks green and in this mirror it looks purple. Oh my gosh, this has some fun shifts in it. I might try um, once we're done lowering the lights a little bit and see if you can see what I see when I'm looking not at full lights in the camera. There we go, excellent. So we're having some fun with that. Um, I think before we play with liner, because I am going to want to have some liner definitely on my edge, I'm going to go and put my base on and then we and do my brows, clean up. And then because we have um, lips, highlighter, 
blush to play with and this liner. So we will be back. In okay, so our base is on. We're ready to go. I did clean up just a smidgy smidgy around, but didn't do anything else. And then I wiped, because I got a little foundation on as well, wiped the rest of the lip mask off. So we can end up doing that as well. But I thought let's start with doing the eyeliner. And then I should also grab our highlighter and blush here. And which lip kit are we using? And then I think we are going to use the Blood Red. Because I'm going out, I think a liquid lipstick is a little bit better. So I don't have to worry about reapplying stuff as often. So, and then we've got those. But first, let's test this liner out. Um, I do have a couple liners on the go. And normally I won't start another one. But a few of them are near their end. So I think we are okay to play with this liner in black. And then we go, whoops, that was a bit tight. But there is the brush there a little bit too tight is better so at least there won't get as much air into your liner to dry out so I'm appreciative of that and then we're gonna go here and see how this is when I'm testing out a liner it's always for me in case it ends up being too runny or something just to kind of try on a little a line there and then we can put build the wing after so this is going nice, it's liquidy, but not super liquidy. So I'm not having to worry about it leaking into my eyes or anything. So that is a win. And then I'm just gonna try and bring it as close into my lashes as I can. Because sometimes liner, before I put on mascara, I always feel it's like, why is it looking patchy? And it's just because it's my light lashes making it look so, so if I kind of bring the liner down into there, then it, it doesn't um, bother me as much. So there we go, and then we're gonna do, let's do a flick, just up here and then down. Let's do a light wing. And then sometimes I can test a liner that way to see how well it works over shadow. Um, when I do more pinup makeup, it's more liner than it is any eyeshadow, so it's usually something just light over my eyelid and then the liner, but since I'm but doing it like this can put a liner a bit through its paces. So there we go, that looks nice. That um, made my line look a little bit thicker there. I think I might wear lashes, so at the end when I go to do my hair and everything for our final thought, we can I can maybe go and play with some lashes too. So there is our liner. I'm just right now putting everything back into the package because a lot of times I don't keep this sort of packaging. I'll keep the boxes, but I usually a lot of times don't keep the outside packaging after a while. But for the first little while, it's always really excited to have it. But then when things start to clutter up a little bit, then I'm like, okay, some of the stuff's gotta go. But right now this is new, so there we go. Okay, so the next step we're gonna wanna play with, um, I'll put mascara on and everything at the end. Um, we're gonna play with the blush so that it is it there. And it is this a beautiful pinky shade. Now I can't remember how pigmented the blushes are. Oh, that looks very pigmented. So let's see. And then how does it blend out? Okay, so this is a move fast one. Okay, and then plus I did it really thick on my arm, but I think it's better to just um, blend right away, I think, but that's looking good. Okay, so let's try one of these brushes. We are going to save the angly one to play with highlighter. And then I'm going to use this one because this is pretty close to the one I generally use for blushes. It's just a little bit bigger. So let's test that out. And then all the mirrors have protection on them, but I'm going to not take that off. And then there is his little ghost face. Like so. All right. Let's try, but you know, I like blush. So if it ends up being too much, yeah. All right, but right away, okay, this is a very, very, very soft brush. Ooh, that is intense. Okay, I'm actually gonna go and use my regular brush. Attack of the brushes. Yeah, I'm gonna go use my regular one. It's a little bit denser. Not that that Artitude one won't be fine for other things, but I think for quickly <laughs> blending out when you put on too much blush, I think the denser br uh, bristles are a little bit better, I think. That is a pretty blush. All right, let's just... And then my hair will be down, so if it's a little bit too high there, that's okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go, actually let's place it with that other one that I used. Is there still some on there? Nope, it is the one I used, right? Or is it this one? Nope, it's this one. All right, so we'll place it with this one and then we'll brush it out with the other one. Yeah, because the, the thicker, the denser brushes definitely blend it out a little bit easier. Yeah, this is a very, very pigmented, so be very, very careful because I am very blushful at the moment. So I may have to tone that down with some powder after, but this way, at least you can see that it is super pigmented. So there we go. So then that means with all this nice and pigment, this will definitely, again, I'm pale, so it works for the pale. So I think this would definitely work on darker skin for sure, because this is um, one, pigmented mofo. All right, so there we go. Yeah, so when I smile, it's all good, but when my face is down, it's like, ooh, that's a lot of blush. So we may have to powder it a little bit. So we'll, we'll do that at the end. So there we go. So there is our ghost of face blush. And then next up, we have our, same thing with plastic. I keep it for the first little while, and then I get rid of that too. Um, so now we're gonna play with the highlighters. So there are two different highlighters in here like so, so we'll call one ghost face and one called knifey. So ghost face here seems to have like a green tinge in it and knifey seems to be like a champagne. So let's see if that is true. So first let's try knifey here. They have names, I have no idea. All right, so, ooh, ooh, that is pretty and wet looking. Nice, okay, and then let's do ghost face. The knifey one is a little bit smoother feeling than the ghost face is in the pan. But then I don't know if it's the pat if it's the pattern that's in there, uh, which is now gone. Okay, here we go. Hmm. I think I want to play with this one. So we're gonna play it with ghost face. Um, let's see how it works on a super super fluffy brush and if it's too fluffy I have my tried and true one here but with highlighter a super fluffy might actually be better and then you can see that it's on there wow all right Ooh. oh this is a scene from space highlighter I like it. yeah it's like wet looking that is very very nice I like that all right ghost face I see you and then last, but definitely not least, we're gonna do some lips. And like I said, we are going to do the red kit, the blood lip kit, because I'm just thinking that a, um, what's gonna call it? A liquid lip will be better for tonight. Um, not that, you know, and then plus if I decide to eat something, then it, you know, it's less chance of it getting all over than a lipstick does, even though that one is a neutral. So we're gonna grab the liner here. We go with the ghost face, got the little blood, the red lid here. I've not tried any of their lip products at all, so let's go. All right, so the liner is not too soft, not too hard, it's just the way I like it, so that's good. It's creamy enough that it moves easy without tugging on your lips. but it doesn't seem so soft that it's going to bleed into lines or get really messy. So I'm appreciative of that. So we're gonna, as I always do, I like to color in my liner. I know, I don't know if a lot of people do that anymore, but it's an old school trick that where a lot of times, especially if it's a really good liner, if your lipstick rubs off, you still have some color underneath from the liner. But it is not, um, what I could say here, moilant enough to put your lips together to rub it in together. So there we go. So it is a little bit, maybe a smidge firmer that I like, smidgy smidge. So not enough to say I don't like it. I really like it. It's just, I just can't do that. I can get it to move all over, so that's okay. So now let's play with this. Oh, that kind of bounced out nicely. So there it is, your traditional doe foot applicator. And, hmm, okay, maybe it is a gloss. Because there is not a lot of stick or maybe a lip oil. Hold on, I didn't put on any glasses and I didn't read the book. I just read 
blood lip kit. So what is it on back here? Introducing go, go, uh, Ghost Blood Blood Red Lip Kit. Waking your inner spooky self with a touch of slasher blood embodied in the captivating hue of our newest creation. Blood Red Lip Tint. Aha! Inspired by the iconic presence of ghost face, complete with a killer lip combo for a ghost blood red lip liner. Okay, so it's a lip tint. So there we go. Because it kind of was feeling a little bit like the MAC lip oil. I had gotten a mystery box that was kind of a bright red but not messy, like that one was like messy. This is not messy, this is nice. Okay. So maybe we could try that, since it's a lip thing that'll come off easy, maybe we can try that other lip kit while we're here. Let's do both, come on now. Alrighty, so that is nice. I like that color, that would definitely be good. But again, that is one if I would go out for dinner or something that you A, have to reapply and could get a bit messy because like if you eat a burger or something, it gets all over on your chin. But I like that color, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's grab that other lip kit. Might as well while we're here. Okay, I'm gonna go and take this off. I got at least a little, a little bit of a stain, but that's okay because the other one here is a black liner, I think. And then here, this one is, brace yourself for your most killer lip look yet. Our ghost face inspired lip kit comes with an intensely dark brown lip liner. Okay, I thought it was black, it looked black. So it is definitely dark brown. And a ghostly nude matte lipstick, perfect design to create the most hauntingly beautiful pout for all skin tones. All right, let's give it a go. All right, so let's start again with the liner. Oh yeah, that is really nice and dark. So it'll cover the little bit of staining from the tint and the lip liner, which actually leaves a nice kind of, if a, yeah, I'm gonna need to use that scrub a few more times. But then other than that, it leaves a nice color underneath. So if you did eat it away, you'd have a nice tint underneath. So that is cool. Okay, I want to definitely do all of this because that other lip color looked pretty light. Yeah, I like, I like the formula of that. This one feels a little bit smidge more emollient than the other one did, because I did feel a little bit of a more give when I smacked the lips together. Alrighty, and then, all right, interrupted by my Amazon delivery of a shoe rack that came in a really small box. All right, I'll see how that works out. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. That is the pale lipstick, and that's the one that has the little bite marks. We're, of course, going to roll it down because we we have been known to snap off lipsticks because we're dumb. All right, maybe it's a smidge higher. Okay. Oh, this feels really nice. This is a nice, I mean, it's a matte lipstick, but it is really smooth. That goes on super nicely. Actually, with the lip liner, I kind of don't mind that shade. It turned it into like a taupey cappuccino type color. Hey, who knew? Okay, so I use that word a lot, a lot, a lot. So let's go and I'm gonna go and finish my hair. I'm going to go buff a little bit to make this a little bit lighter and then we and maybe put some lashes on and then we'll come back for some final thoughts Ooh, spooky <laughs> well i didn't get my candle so we just lit one <laughs> that we have here for our little vibe here i've got the lights off so you can see the colors more how i see them and not so bright but there we go. And then let's <laughs> stick our lights back on and then you can see how they look. Again, this look is with lights. Do, 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 do. Come on, you can do it. Who can do it? Well, maybe you can't. Maybe my batteries are running out. <laughs> so there we go. So that is our video with the Ghost Face Collection that was supposed to be the Friday the 13th. But I'm a clown. Um, so I put on uh, some lashes. I just buffed a little bit to make the pink just a smidge less bright, but there we go. Put in some spider earrings. I have my Halloween Queen t-shirt. Oh, Abby! Abby, what you do? Oh, gosh. 
Cats. Cats, cats. All right. The life of cat ownership. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a mess. All right. <laughs> All right, so I put, uh, it was wearing my Halloween Queen t-shirt from Murder Apparel. Again, my spider earrings. And I think where we're going tonight is going to be cold. So it's basically going to be big jacket boots on. So uh, it's not like I can really truly dress up for the pre-Halloween, but here we go. So um, what do I think of the Ghost Face Killer Collection? I love it. I'm very happy. Yes, I made a mistake. <laughs> yes, it wasn't the collection that I was originally going for, but you know what? Maybe my brain was trying to tell me something because I really did like the ghost face when it came out. I was really tempted. I was pretty much like, maybe I could buy both. So maybe something in the stars was telling me that this was the collection that I was supposed to have. So there we go. So if you liked this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe subscribe, maybe even hit that notification bell. We usually update on Mondays and Fridays with the occasional extra video when I have something fun to show you. So as always, behave, make good choices, and uh, be a little spooky this season, and have a fabulous day. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.